Welcome traders. In today's video, I'm going to step you through the tag manager and show you how powerful trading vaults tags and filters are. Tagging your trades is a great way to identify trades with certain characteristics. So when it comes time to review your journal, you can easily find certain trades. So first of all, what we're going to do is just go over to one of our trades. So I'll just go to my closed trades and click on Euro dollar. And from our trade screen, to edit our tags, we want to come up here and click the Tag Manager button. Now first, as you can see, these are all my current tags set up, and your tags are all sh can be broken into different categories. Now this is completely customizable, and you get an unlimited number of tags and categories. So you can go crazy and just tag everything and anything. So you can see some examples I've got at the moment. You can do positive and negative confluence factors. Maybe you want to do price action patterns, tag different news announcements, or maybe even want to track your emotions. So really, the possibilities are endless. When, to turn your tags on and off, it's just a matter of simply clicking the buttons. So you can turn them on by doing such, and you'll see in the background, it appears straight away onto my trade. So we turn on a couple extra ones, and we can see them all there. Another way to turn your tags on is you can come up to the search box and you can type something in. So maybe I want to find my target tag. You start typing, it's a smart lookup. When it finds it, you can click it and you can see here it's turned on targets and it's been put into the trade screen on the background. You can rename your tags simply by right clicking on a tag, clicking the rename button and type in whatever you want. And you can also delete your tags by right clicking on them and hitting the delete button, which we're not going to do just yet. You're also free to rearrange your tags so I can move them within a current section or I can also move them into a different slot if I wish. And you can see there the color changes and everything like that as it's being moved around. So let's just turn a couple off now. Now if we wish to add a new tag, we can come up to our box up the top. Maybe we want to do double tops. And by pressing enter, the tag will be added and automatically selected. So any tags you add will go into the unsort category up to the top and then you are free from there to move it wherever you want. So let's just put it in here as a positive confluence factor. Now when it comes to our categories, Firstly, you can reorder these just by clicking the handle on the left hand side and you can move these around your screen. You can also rename your categories by coming over here onto our drop down button, clicking the rename and then you're free to type those, type in whatever you want and just hit the confirmation button when you're done. And you can also change the color of your tags. So again, you come in here, hit change color. Uh, let's make my exit uh, red, move around the color picker, get the exact color you need and you can hit the select button and those will change. You can also delete categories from in here, hitting the button, just keep in mind once you delete a category or even if you delete a tag individually, this will be removed from every single trade you have in your journal. So just make sure that is what you want to do before you do it. And lastly, if you wish to make a new category, just come down the bottom of the screen and you can type something in here. So maybe you want to track our emotions. Hit the plus button when you're done. And there it is. So that's everything in the tag manager screen. Let's just turn on a couple extra tags before we go to our next section. Okay, so when we go out, back on our trade screen, you can see your tags will all appear here underneath your summary. Okay. And now if we drop out of this and we jump into our timeline view. So now in our timeline screen, we can see our tags appear here just underneath our summaries. If you want to filter and find certain trades with certain tags on them, you can just come up to the tag filter and then you can turn on any combination of tags you want. So we start off with our stop loss tag. We can see in the background that the trades get filtered instantly. If you want to turn on combinations, you can. So if we turn on wave one tags, we'll see that trade will remain there and there'll be other trades below with just the stop loss and the wave one tag on them. So that wraps up our video guys on the
tagging your trades, make sure you do do it. It is a really easy way to then go through and filter your trades when you're doing your performance reviews. Okay, it's also useful to do comparisons between different outcomes of certain trades which have certain characteristics and see which ones you prefer to be trading. So there we have it guys. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below.